We will learn the transfer option in this lecture. Transfer is used to randomize the transparency of the brush. For transparency, we have seen two options earlier. The first one is opacity and the other is flow. Both the options are pretty much the same with little difference. The opacity property sets the uniform transparency when the flow property gradually makes the stroke opaque when being overlapped. Here, jitter means random transparency between the maximum opacity or flow specified in options bar and zero. Just type any number to set the opacity. It will accept the last two numbers you type. If you type a single number, it will set the transparency in multiplication of 10. For example, if you want to set the opacity to 50, you just have to type 5 on the keyboard. But if you want to set the opacity to 54, then you need to type 54. If you want the opacity to 100%, just type 0. Similarly, if you want to set the flow, you need to press and hold the shift key and then type the number. First, set the opacity to 25% on the options bar. Set brush spacing to 20%. Now let the opacity jitter to 0 and select the fade from control drop down and set it to 150. Draw a curve on the left side. Now set the opacity to 100% and flow to 25%. Set the opacity jitter control off and the flow jitter control to fade with 150 steps. You must have realized the difference. On the left side you have uniform transparency with smooth shading whereas on the right side you clearly see the overlapping brush steps. Undo the changes, set the flow to 100% and turn off the flow jitter control. Now change the opacity jitter value and draw a curve. You will see the stamps with different opacity here. But you see that higher opacity stamps have replaced the low opacity stamps on overlapping. The higher opacity stamps have complete shape and uniform transparency. Now set the opacity jitter to 0 and change the flow jitter value. Draw a curve on the right side. This time you also have the different opacity stamps. But here stamps are overlapped and not replaced with different transparency. So both the jitters work with their original characteristics. One maintains the uniform transparency and the other keeps overlapping and makes the stroke gradually opaque. The concept of other controls and minimum slider is the same as we have seen earlier. The other below sliders can be enabled with the mixer brush tool. We will learn the tool in another session.